Okay, this is a review, well, another review of Leo Wines. Um, this time, I ordered two different things, and I haven't opened it yet, so let's see. There we go. First time seeing them. Let's see this. Yep. Just wanted to show. Right, the handmade with love. And you can see that. Yeah. More contact. So. That's everything. So it comes in a bag like this. Which I love these because I, I end up using it for other things. Hmm. Looks different than on the website. Okay. And pin it. There's the tag. The front of the tag. Here's the back. And here's the first one. The scrunchie that's the trans flag colors. So there's that, which I don't find anything wrong with the stitching or anything on it. And the elastic in the middle between right here is thick. It's a thick elastic. It's In between my fingers, like that thick. So that's good. The seam has been stitched in the ditch, I can say. I can't remember what that kind of stitching is called, where it goes like that. But usually it's like stitch in the ditch. If you do it by hand, it's kind of like, yeah. You know what I'm talking about. So I don't find anything wrong with this. It's all perfect. And here's the review that most people are probably here for. Okay. This one is the Leo Lines Transgender Underwear Male to Female. Um, it's the pink with white lace because I got this one to match a bra that I have so this is what it looks like here's the front here's the back and it has her new way of constructing everything um, it's the hidden panel, so the stitching's not on the outside here. Like it shows here, it used to be the stitching goes like that all the way through to the outside, but it's a hidden panel. That means the front on the outside, it's not stitched on the outer layers. And on the inner layer, it has an extra top stitch. And let's 
see here. Here is the elastic waistband and the legs are the same. They're kind of like white but more like a shiny white. And that's the pattern of the lace. Like a floral lace. You can see that. Yeah. So, so on the inner construction, the tags I noticed were moved from the back right here, and with the new construction, it's on the side, which I like that a lot better because then on the back, it doesn't rub against you in that spot and become irritated. Um, this is the back. It's pink. It's a baby pink. Then this is the front layer. It's a white layer, which I love because more variety and it's just, it's more feminine, I can say. Especially if you're using it for like a underwear for like your wedding outfit or something that can work really good for that. Um, the side stitching, see that's what it looks like. The front and the back, how it's stitched in between. Like that on both sides. This is the side with the tag stitched like that. And in the where the crotch of it meets the back, it's stitched like that. Here and here, which it looks like it's a lock stitch, which lock stitch is hold everything together really well. Um, my only concern is sometimes with my experience in ordering this, this brand, um, this spot right here, from here to here in the crotch, meets the back, this part right here, kind of folds a little bit, kind of like Definitely weird sometimes. Um, and that's just due to down there the genitalia. Because it makes the underwear sit a little bit differently. Um, and it also depends on where you're at in your transition, how long you've been on hormones, if you started hormones before initial puberty or after initial puberty, first time around. Then, that, then how the hormones and everything affects down there can worry how your transition can affect how this fits, but it fits really well without tucking. So that's where the issues I've always had is just right here, but it's still good enough to work without any issues whatsoever in tucking. Because it usually don't really tuck using it's meant for not tucking, but you can if you want to with it. Um, and here's the outside where that spot is right here to here, how it's stitched. So it's from here to here, it's well, with this specific pair because from here to here, where it's stitched from here to here, so that's the in, like the inner panel, like a thicker, yeah, like a thicker lining panel in there. And that's what makes it be able to tuck a lot better, with actually being able to wear it without tucking. And I've noticed with with the lace, it, 
seems a lot stiffer right through here with the lace. So that's good because then it really works well that way. And my suggestion is, even though it's kind of on the expensive side for one pair, I suggest getting it anyways. Um, whatever she may have that strikes your interest on her Etsy page, which the link will be in the description below. All the links. And yeah, so so far I'm happy with it. It's made really well. A lot more No words to actually say um, about the product from the images to the actual thing. The actual is so much more better in person the way it looks than on the website pictures. So, yeah, I'm happy with this purchase. <laughs> I might have to get more. So, that's pretty much the review of the Leo Lines male to female underwear for trans kids to adults. Yeah, from trans kids to adults sizes. And as of this video, this is still on the website in different colors and lace. And this one's the lycra fabric. Yeah. It's the lycra fabric. And that's the tag, the size I chose, C12, because my suggestion is, when you buy it, go buy the sizing chart, see if it fits when you receive that one pair, and if it fits that size, then you know that's your size. But if it's too big, then go down a size, and if it's too small, go up a size. That way you're not wasting your money on your second purchase. That way you know for sure. And when I very first, a few, it was like about three years ago or so, when I first heard about this product, this brand, when I was doing research on gaps, I got two pairs that were based on the size and chart, and they were a little bit too big, which I still use them, and they still work wonderful. Um, so I ended up going down a size and that fit perfectly. And, um, the smaller you go in the size, the tighter it's going to be. So if you really want it to be really tight and snug, I mean really tight, you could try going down two sizes. And that can also help with tucking and whatnot. But I recommend comfort over being tightly tucked so yeah so go by your sizing chart the sizing chart thing go from there if you need a size bigger or smaller that's what I suggest and as of this video it's available I can say Because my old videos of the reviews, some of those aren't available anymore. It's like most of those aren't available. So as of this video, so how I'm saying this, it's available of this video. So I suggest picking up a pair of the legal lines, male to female.
female underwear from child sizes to adult sizes. I can't remember the smallest size, but I think it's like a C child four, I think. And adults, it goes up to past Let's see, a triple XL, I think. You just look on her sizing chart and you can see all the different sizes. So, I suggest, that's what I suggest. So, I have no complaints with the construction of this. It's all well made since my first videos and I made some suggestions. Since then, its products been made really well, extra better than before. So, yeah, pick up a pair or two or ten. I say get enough for your every day. That way, you can have comfort and not have to worry every single day about tucking and issues around that and lately I've been feeling with the Leo Lines products a lot more comfortable with my body and um, more confidence I can say with down there not having issues like I have had with other products like other gaps and stuff out that's out there this I never had any issues with tucking, wearing clothing, and using it. So, I highly recommend it and I give it, well, I only can give five stars, but I give it an infinity <laughs> amount of stars, is how well this product is. And if you want to see me, we're actually wearing it. The review where I actually wear it and show what it looks like being actually worn. So you know kind of general how it's going to look. Click the link in this description below for that video. And to Leo Lines Etsy shop. All the links will be in the description below. So until my next review, comment, rate, and subscribe to both of my channels. So until next time,